Minago yabe namakota jemacha nakoniya techina. I'm Bolish Day. I'm Trisa. Today we're going to um we're going to build on your vocabulary words. Today we're going to talk about some buildings and we're going to talk about some transportation to help you build on your vocabulary, to help you build your sentences. You'll have a lot more words to use. Um, so today one of the first words we're going to talk about before we talk about transportation is we're going to talk about what we use to to open our buildings or to, go, to use our transportation because we are going to talk about buildings as well today. But one of the first words we're going to talk about today, or we're going to use today, is yushpe. Yushpe. This is your key. Because you'll never get into a house or a drive a vehicle without your yushpe. Another one in your Another one of our words that I'm going to give you today, tiob, because you, you need a key to get into your tiob, which is your door. Your door, yushpe for your key, and yushpe u u chen tioba yushpawo. Use your key to open your door. And then another word we have in our buildings, and as well, as our um, ways of transportation, iwaknaga. And that is your window that you use to look outside. Yushpe, to yushpa, uh, your door, and iwaknaga, to waknag, to look. Iwaknaga, that's your window to look out or to look in. Now, um, let's talk about our, a bridge. Let's do the bridge first. I know it's not um, a, tr a way of transportation or a building, but it is a landmark. Now, this here, chagach to be, chagacha to be, sorry, chagacha to be. This, back in the day, it was a word for the beaver dam. That's how, what they call the beaver dam. But now, because of um, the bridges that we have now, it is also a word for the bridge. And I guess maybe the beaver dam was a way of making the bridges across the lakes, but it's a bridge across the river is what it translates to, as well as a beaver dam. Bridge. Chagach tumbi. Mm. Oh, I got a windmill too as well. These are just landmarks that we haven't, I haven't given you the words for these. Menich jahomni. Ni jahomni. It means, um, if you listened to Wayne's last week, it's when the water turns, ni Homni, and that's the the water is making the windmill turn, and that's how Wayne explain, explained it, and that's what this word translates to as well. Then we also, on Sundays, wakat amba waka ne ne ish Maybe you go here, Owachegia TB. Owachegia TB. And that is your church. Owachegia TB. Now we have. What's the breakdown for that? Owa. Yeah. That's me. Chegia. That's a place where I go to pray. Oh, okay. Owa, it'd be me. Yeah. That would be 
your, yourself and then chegya to pray. And that che is to cry and gya is to send away. That's how it was explained to me. Owa mi chegya to cry, to send away. You know how a lot of the, um, if you notice the medicine, the medicine men when they pray, when they pray, they pray from the heart, and a lot of them cry when they pray, and I think that's probably why they, they say owa chegya. Mm -hmm. Nice word. Now a lot of you guys, when you're going, you know, owa owad. Tebi, Owad Tebi, 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 and that is a That's my favorite. restaurant. <laughs> That's re a, 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 a house where you go to eat. Owad, Owad, I'm going to eat Tebi, restaurant. And then this is, if you have a lot of animals, you will know what this word is. Shukti, and that is a barn or a stable. I don't know. Um, a barn is, I don't know, the difference is a barn is you keep the cows and a stable is where you keep the horses, but it's still, they're both all shukti, and this is a shukti. Shukti, I believe this is, I'm sorry, this is also nasalized, and that is your horse house. Shukti. And then just your regular dwelling that you live in. That's just your normal house, your TB. TB Tanga Nuhaha. Do you have a big house? When, um, and I believe less than three or four, we talked about towns. And in that lesson, I told you that town was Oa. Oa Petu. You're going to have to pause that. But <clears throat> this, this is probably an older word, one of the older words. And what they call a town is Tioda. And what it means is that there's lots of um, houses in that one area. So that's why I'm thinking it was probably one of the, one of the, the very first words to describe a town. And it's that, that is a town. Now, your big cities. Um, I, I gave you a different word for that. It wasn't, but this is what um, probably, again, another older word that was used before um, all the newer words like microwave and like key is a new word because we didn't have keys back in the day as well. But I'm thinking like, you know, back before too many Europeans came, these were probably the words that they used instead of the newer words other than that we have now. Because this one is Tioda Tanga. And that means lots of houses, but bigger. So that would be a city. And then another one of the things that I, oops. This one here, I didn't, um, I didn't really understand until I looked at it. The Washiju TB is different from the TB because this is, this translates to a framed house. It's the wooden house. That's what we call the Washiju TB. Now here's one that you, we haven't wrote, we haven't been to for a while. Wayawa TB, and that is your school with COVID. A lot of the students are doing the distance learning now, so we ha they haven't been. And our last dwelling work I'm going to tell you about is a Wioti, or a we o t and that is just a common TP dwelling, a TP or a dwelling. Now there's also our Oyate T. If you remember, Oyate is your whole community. So your Oyate T 
would be your band office, a people where you're, a place where your oyate meets. Oyate tea. And that's where your hunga would be. And that is your chief. Band office. Band office, yeah. I mean, Now, if you've been in, in trouble with the Agijita, you will probably go here. Owaya, Owayo Chob TB. Owayo Chob TB, and that is your courthouse. Peji, Pejuda, sorry, Peji talking about a grass house. <laughs> Pejuda, talking about uh, what's that place down here? <laughs> uh, me too, I should know. Um, and that is your drugstore, not, um, oh, what's that place called? Yeah, I know what you mean. Drugstore, Pejuda TB. That's where you get your medicines from. When the doctor gives you a prescription, you go there for your medicines. I should know what that place is called, too. What about a Wicho? Wicha Yoza TB. Wincha Yoza? Wincha Yaza. Sorry, Yaza. I have that wrong. To be yaza is to be sick. So we cha yaza TB, that would be a hospital. We cha yoza, this man, he's sick, house, the sick man's house. Ah, oh, tweed. That's what, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not talking about tweed here. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> N N O Ishtim N O Ishtima Ishtima um, now Ishtima remember from your word list is to sleep N O so um, what I'm telling you is a place where you go in and you sleep so that would be your hotel <clears throat> wo ya bi wo ya wo ya wa bi tb wa ya wa bi tb wa ya wa to go to school right wa ya wa bi tb that would be your schoolhouse now o wa ya Wa, Owaya wa, Tanga. Oh, I don't need my ender. Waya wa bi, TB, that's your school. Owaya wa, Tanga TB. That is your university. FNU. Owayawa Tanga TB. I'm sorry, this is no, the N is right here. Tanga TB. Now, let's talk about, we haven't done this in a while either. Maybe um, after this vaccine comes through. Owachi Makocha. Owachi, wachi, to dance. Owachi Makocha. That is your powwow grounds. Owachi Makocha. Now, this one here. Wapiachi, Wapiachi. P 
people are dying to get into there. I was kidding. That's the cemetery. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Cheap joke. I'm sorry. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> That's your cemetery. Wapiahi. Wapiahi. And I think it's to, um, what, it, what it translates to is some place where you lay happily. Wapiahi. You got here and you're going to lay here happily. Oh, and this is, uh, if you stay away from this house, you'll stay away from this house. Omniopatu TB. Omniopatu TB. That is your liquor board. The place where, the house where you buy liquor. The house where you buy, yeah, alcohol. And then our last place that I'm going to talk to you about today is your Mazaska TB. As you know, Mazaska is money and house, the money house. And that translates to your bank. Those are just a few of the of the houses. It's interesting how we adapted because these are new terms. Right? Yep, because we didn't have banks before. Well, I guess we did have banks before, but yeah, in a way, and not really hospitals, but but like university. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a hotel. Mm hmm. Drugstore. How like it's been adapted. In today's modern world, eh? Mm hmm. And O Ishtima, a place where you go in to sleep. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need Mazda Scott to do that too, though. You can't just go sleep there for nothing. You have to pay a, a nightly rate. So now we're going to talk a little bit about transportation, how you get to places. But without with all your transportation, you need one of these to get to where you're going to go. You need to go on a Ochangu, and that is a road. And some of the, uh, some of the transportation that you're going to need, you're going to use, you know how, you need to know how to basi. Basi, you need to know how to drive. When, uh, because of the winter time and Christmas and, and, and New Year's being just over, remember this from Christmas and New Year's? Cha yu shnoda. Oh, I'm sorry, yu shnoha. Yu shnoha, and that is your sleigh. which means that you're pulling something. You're pulling the wood. Now, this is a good one. This is what we use, or I use. No, I'm not saying it right. Chi Gaya Gayana. Iechi Gayana. There we go. Iechi Gayana. And it means something that goes by itself. Because you don't see the motor, I'm guessing. It's not pulled by the horse. It goes by itself because you don't see what's pulling it. It's under the hood. It's something that goes by itself is what it translates to, and that is your car. Now we also have this here. These were around for quite a while as well as well probably longer than the car, and that is your train. Maza Wada. Maza Wada. Now, the train can't go any place unless it has a 
unless it has a Maza o Changu. That is your train tracks. Now that we have our Chabach Minkma, Chabach Minkma, and that is your wagon. And I have another one, another word. It's just separated. This is all one word, and Chabach Minkma, and it also means wagon. You could either say it both, both ways. Now, if you're a farmer, you will have one of these. Otokshu, and that is your truck. And that means to haul something, otokshu. Otokshu, and that's truck, and that's to haul. Awada, remember from your beaver dam, this is a boat. Um, I had helicopter under here, and I know that there's a word for helicopter, but I'm sorry, I couldn't find it, so we're not going to use the helicopter. There is a word for helicopter, and if I find it, I will let you know it. But we're going to talk about the ambulance now. Waya, za, otuk, otokshu, and it's to carry the sick people. Um, um, Wayaza Otokshu, to carry the sick people, it translates to. Now, we talked about university. Owayawa Otokshu, and that is your school bus. <coughs> Owayawa, yawa, yawa is to read. Owayawa, otokshu, school bus, a place where I read. Um, you'll notice that in all of your vehicles and most of your vehicles as well, you will have a. Wahikiyabi. Wahikiyabi. Um, back when this word was probably first made, it translated to a u u a u u weepy ceremony or a tie up ceremony. But with words evolving, this is also a word that we use for radio. Now, why it translates to that, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. I will look into it more, and I will, I will tell you later when I know. Um, I also have this word here. If you notice, um, there's a lot, lot of these on the, the highway. Iwak Tokshu Tanga. And those are your semi-trailers, or your trailer trucks. They have trailers or your van as well. It can translate to a van as well. And then your Gia Yabi. Gia Yabi. And that is your airplane. Translates to your airplane. And our last word of the day for our Transportation is a, I'm going to write it up here, it's a OT Gadodo. OT Gadodo. I'm just messing with you. This is a broom. I've been accused of flying, I've been accused of uh, riding on brooms, so I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> it's a hemi. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't forget Otigadodo. That is your broom. <laughs> that um, those are just some of the some more words to add to your your word list <clears throat> for the last part of this class because now we should be able to start building your sentences with your word list that you have. So for the last part of this class, I'm going to write down some words. I'm going to write down a sentence. I'm going to write down the sentence in Nakoda. I'm going to write down the words that it translates to. And I'm going to write down the statement that you should get out of the words after they're all translated together, what would be commonly known as those words. And I'll use three different types of markers. We will start with black for our Nakoda. Dukten wo shi ichanu. And because it's a question, but it starts with a D, I put the, you can add he to the end of it so that you know it's a question. That's your question marker. But because it starts with a D, you don't need the he unless you want to put it, and um, unless you're a female. The females use the heck quite a bit. So we're going to translate this is where. Woshi. Now, if you remember these words, work, it will always be he or she. And ichanu, do you do it? where work do it and what you would translate it what you would translate it to saying would be where do you work do you see dukten woshi ichanu where do you work only it translates to where he or she work do it um, I've got a couple. Let's do, I've got a few of them. Let's do an easy one here. How about this one here? This should help you know how, what I'm, what, what I'm doing this for is to help you see the word orders in the sentence. Mwia, ne, naji. So, this is a woman. Woman, ne, this. Naji, and it's he or she stands. And what you should translate from this here is this woman is standing. See? We are net naji. Woman, this, he or she stands. This woman is standing. That's what you should um, translate it to. We'll do another small one, another short one. How about um, Shunga ga akdaga. Shunga, that is a dog. Ga is that or there. And akdaga, he or she runs. So what you would translate to is that dog over there is running. That dog over there, ga, akdaga, is running. 
Chungaga Aktaga. That dog over there is running. Daya? Um, oh, here's a good one. Well, let's do this one here. It's, it's a small, it's a, it's a short one too. Okay. Drunk. Oops. Chen. This is why? Or because? Hichpaya. He or she fell or it fell and what this should translate to is he fell because he was drunk huh? <laughs> Chen hechpaya, ktunja chen hechpaya. Drunk. This is why he or she fell. He fell because he is drunk. Mm. Oh, here's one. I'm backwards again now. Okay. Milk. He or she drinks. Whoa, a command. Hinkna. And Taspari. Orange. Remember your, from your fruit. Yuda. You eat. So what it should translate translate what you should get out of this is drink your milk and hinkna eat your orange you see it asambi yatgamo Hinkna taspahi woda, or yuda, sorry. Woda is to eat, but I'm saying you eat. So drink your milk and eat your orange. Dayaha. Oh, here's a good one too. Now I'm using, I'll go back to the right way. I like this one here. No ghetto sten, Timani wa ukt. No ghetto sten, Timani wa ukt. Okay. So, no ghetto, if you remember from your word list, summer, sten, at this time, Timani, I will visit. Timani is to go to your house to visit. Wakukt, I will come. So what your what 
our brains should tell us is, I am coming to visit when it is summer. No ghetto sten timani wa ukta. Summer at this time I will visit. I will come. I am coming to visit when it is summer. Our next one. Sitgana Saba. Waji Cha Agan Yanga Now remember Zitgana Bird Saba Black Waji, one, cha, and that would be wood, branch, or tree, a gun, on top, yanga, um, it would be he or she sits. So what you would translate this to is, A blackbird is sitting, and it doesn't, on a tree. Sitgana sabawajicha agan yanga. A blackbird is sitting on a tree. That's what your brain should translate it to. One more quick one here. Um, how about... This one, I kind of didn't know about this one here, how I did it, but I will do it for you. Snowing. Wahiha, remember from our, it's snowing, Chen, at this time. Tin inside. Wa u I go. And what the sentence translates to is I stayed in because it was snowing. See, I didn't, uh, I stayed inside because. It was snowing. And some of these words, like this word, I got from um, one, of the, one of the resources that I use. And um, I didn't think that's what it translated to myself, but that's what the book said. And the, the, it comes from very knowledgeable keepers. But that's what he says it translates to. So I thought I'd share that with you because that's not what I got out of this. I thought, me, to me, the sentence says, it is snowing, so I'm going to go inside. But he says that. That's, that's what I thought you were actually going to have. Yeah, see, and that's what he says, that's what he translates it to. But to me, I'm going to go inside because it is snowing, it would translate. That's what I read it to be, but that's what he has it for. And he could have made a mistake as well. But for me, that's what I would say it was, I will go inside because it is snowing. Just some, uh... Yeah, or, you know, maybe, maybe it does translate to that, like, I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have one more that I want to share with you. This one, it translates to pretty much the same. This one here, uh, 
well, this one here I did myself. This one I took, I went through some stuff, and this one I took out of a book. This one here specifically I took out of a book. But some of these, like these, are just my from my head. So let's do this one here. From your Nakoda brain. Yeah. And I'm hoping they sound very well to me. Amba izaptashten wopetua mnikta. Now, Amba izapta day the fifth. At this time, shopping, I will buy. Or shopping, it can translate to minked. I am going now. This one I chose specifically, like this here, because if you remember, the fifth day is Friday, right? So what this translates to is, I will go shopping. on Friday. Hmm? Instead of the fifth day, this means Friday. And that's, that's why I, I wrote it like that. Just to, um, I don't know, confuse you maybe? I don't, I, I don't know. I just did it like that. Um, that's the end of my my lesson for today. But before I go, I'd like to leave you with this. I will elaborate on it more next week. But these are some, an interesting, I'm going to tell you about going, take, starting to go, going, arriving, returning, on my way returning, and actually getting back to where I want to be. So if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm setting to go, I'm going to iaya, and that is setting to go someplace or getting ready to go someplace. Uh, I'm going to go to Regina tonight. I'm going. I'm setting to go or getting ready to go. And there are a bunch of verbs that um, can be conjugated with this, but I'll, I'll get to that next week. I'm just going to leave you with this to set on, to think about it. Ya. Ya. He is already on his way. He is going. Aktugu hohuju bina ya. My dad is on his way to Regina. He is going. It's right now. He is on his way going right now. Uh, wed. No, let's see. How would I? Now my dad finally got to Regina. Wanaja e. He got there already. He is there. He has arrived there. Wana e. He's there. Wana e. Now. My dad has done his shopping now. He's going to turn around and come home now. And I'm at home waiting for him, and I'm going to say, Ha, akte hiu. He's coming. He's setting out to return home. Hiu. He is getting ready to come home. And they say getting set to return. But he's getting ready to come home is more, I guess, layman's terms. Oh, Chen, oh, he's getting ready to come. Well, not oh, he is coming now. He is coming. He is on his way. He is coming. He must be by White City now. Oh, now he's got home. He's home now. Well, not tida, tida, he, he is here. He, 
he has arrived he has arrived home yeah 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 he is getting ready to go yeah he is going e he has arrived there he you he is getting ready to turn around and come home oh why not oh he is coming why not he he has arrived daya amba washte you how oh akawa akawa chim na ging na be chim no zingta penamaya me no go ya be Thank you.